Accepting God's call, our charge, 2 Timothy 4 and 1. 2 Timothy 4 and 1 reads, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Now that you've accepted God's call to preach, teach, and serve in the body of Christ, not only is there a great responsibility, but you have a charge to keep. You have been entrusted with the awesome task to properly exegete the sacred text. So what is exegesis? According to the authors, Dr. Hayes and Dr. Holliday, exegesis is something that we do every day. Whenever we try to understand something that we've read or heard, we are doing an exegesis. The word exegesis in the Greek means to lead or show the way. So to summarize, an exegesis is the actual interpretation of the sacred book to bring or draw out the meaning of the text. Hermeneutics is the study and establishment of the principles by which it is to be interpreted. It deals with the methods used to draw out the meaning. There are many ways to draw water from a well, such as with a generator, hand pump, or sleeve bucket. These are methods to draw out the water. There are different hermeneutical methods to assist with a proper exegesis of the text. In other words, exegesis provides an explanation based on an investigation of the language, history, culture, and context of a passage in its original setting. It is our responsibility by the charge given to us to study to show ourselves approved. The preacher and teacher must prepare. It takes time and our sermon or lesson should not be thrown together like a fast food in a drive through It should be well prepared like a slow cooked roast in a crock pot. You are preparing a meal to feed God's people. Remember, before one embarks upon preaching a sermon or teaching children, Bible class, Sunday school, or a small group study, this is a part of the hermeneutics and homiletics process. <music>